the last time you read the Quran? Not always, but like, you know, because I get lazy and stuff. But, you know, that's a problem. Do you feel bad that you haven't read the Quran in like a few days? Yes, 100%. I want you to use it, and I want you to see how it affects you, because I, I'm trust me, it will work if you have the right intentions. When was the last time you guys read the Quran? Be honest, no judgment. I read it every morning during Fajr. Every morning? Every, every day. Yeah, I have a Quran teacher read at night. Wow. Probably either Friday or Saturday. During Ramadan. Ramadan. Yeah, same. Same? Same, yeah. Uh, a week ago. A week ago. Yeah. Two, three days ago? Two, three days ago. So how, how's your uh, relationship with this? Is it like quite often, I mean, every not, two, three sometimes days? Sometimes like, what's it called? I'll read like Surah Kaf on Friday, like the first time, last time. Not always, but like, you know, cause I get lazy and stuff. But, you know, that's a problem. You're saying a week ago, let's start with you. I mean, cause it's just that sometimes I forget, you know, I have some re religious obligations, you know? And then after every Juma, I try to read the Quran. Every, okay. Every, every Juz, you know. Okay. During Ramadan, like the actual physical book, but then every day I try to do zikr, like reading at Kursi, doing my zikrs, leaving the home, in the car, you know, the the dua in the car. Yeah. You have a so you say the connection, of course. Yeah. No, yeah, I have a playlist, surah playlist. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. What about you, bro? Uh, I mean, like read it like physically, like a Ramadan, I read the whole thing. Okay. But then, like. I don't know, like, other than that, like, when I'm in the car, my mom plays it. Plays like, it, okay. yeah. I just get off track, you know what I mean? Like, I always focus on something, one thing, and I always forget the other thing, you know? Okay. But I try my best. Every time I remember, I always try to, like, do it, you know what I mean? Okay, so my, my bro, let me ask you this, right? Do you feel bad that you haven't read the Quran in, like, a few days? Yeah, okay. Yes, 100%. Okay, do you think that the Quran can help you get over your breakup a little better? Yes, it can, definitely. Yeah, it can. But you, yourself, taking the, in, in the initiative, Picking it up on your phone and thing, when would that be? Ramadan. Ramadan. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. Like, how does that make you feel saying that out loud? And I'm not judging you, I'm just asking. Uh, now that I'm saying it out loud, kind of. <laughs> you know, like, what about yeah, you? Yeah, no, what, I know it's a few days for you, but still. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when you say it out loud, you realize, like, what you're doing wrong. Do you wish or feel or would want a better link with the Quran? Do you of think course, that's. Of course, yes. of course. Do you course. think that would help a lot with your life, whatever you're going through, even the song? Definitely. Definitely. I, mean, Definitely. I feel like every question. Uh, in our life is, is given in the Quran. No. It's, it's like we are we are so distant from it, we don't understand a lot of those things. Mm. We really have to understand and implement those in our it's life. Right. That will solve a lot of problems. What if I were to give you guys a little gift, a little present, right? Something to help you guys with your akhirah, with your Quran reading as well too. And I don't mind giving it to you guys as well too, okay? It's basically an app that's designed to help you guys get closer to the Quran and become more religious in reading it. It's a paid app, but I want to give it to you absolutely for free. This app is called Quranly. This app has AI technology. It's designed to help you physically read the Quran. It's supposed to, it uses all this new science, all this neuroscience to help you and get in your head to actually make it more part of your day, a more of a lifestyle, okay? Download it and a gift from me to you is a lifetime membership over there. So that app will help you get closer to the Quran and read it daily and increase your limits as well only if you make the right intentions so if you make the right intentions that, hey I want to get closer to Allah Allah will make it easy for you but this app is one of the ways but I have some news for you no matter how great this app is until Allah opens these hearts of yours no app no, nothing's on it. You feel me on yeah, that? Yeah, no, 100%. That's that makes right. sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Right? Okay, so the real thing we need to be asking is Allah open our hearts. Is that a sincere dua we can all be making? This is for me too. It's not It's not just for you, it's for me too. Yeah, I agree with you because I had a struggle with college and stuff and I just asked that, yeah, Allah guide me towards you closer to you. Yeah. And I that was the struggle. The struggle Quran. made me guide me. And, you know, the struggle made me read the Quran. The struggle made me pray more, pray uh, to Hajjad, pray more, and you know, just give so, it to the So the key, the key is the Quran. The key is the Deen. So with that being said, I want you guys to make a sincere intention that from today on, you're actually going to try the Quran Lee step and try to develop a better link with it. And please take out your phones right now if you have them and download the app right now. And we're going to give you a free subscription to it as well too. All of you, I could sign up for. All of you, sign up for it. I'm going to give you a free membership to it. Quran on the yes scroll that right here that purple one there we go it's gonna ask you to set up it's super easy to set up it's gonna ask you a little bit about you about your current reading habits and then it's gonna create it's like a Quran personal fitness trainer it'll train you to become better right but make the right intention it's gonna help you say hey read one more verse right and it gives you challenges it's really really good Quran Lee I want you to use it and I want you to see how it affects you because I, I'm, trust me it will work if you have the right intentions the Quran is our responsibility it is the light 
It is the light for our hearts. If you want goodness in your lives, it will only come through the Quran and worshiping Allah. So if you really want help with that heartbreak or with school or with any other issue you're having, this is for me too, bro. Look, I'm not trying to act like it's, it's been a couple of days for me too. I'm not gonna lie to you. It has been, but our hearts feel bad about it. And that's a sign of Iman. If we have Iman in our hearts, that means, you know, like things are still good, you know? So use the app, make a sincere intention, download the app, send me all of your emails. I'm gonna make sure that it's free for you guys. You have no problem. And may Allah increase you and help you. All right, love guys, Assalamualaikum. It's been an absolute pleasure. Sister, thank you so much for this time. Oh, you're the best. You're the best. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Inna al-lazina yatluna kitab allahi wa aqamu salah wa anfaqu mimma razaqnahum sirran wa alaniyah يرجون تجارة لن تبور سرق الله العظيم. What if there's someone that you actually really care about but he can't afford much? How do you guys feel about that? When was the last time you got into an argument or fight with your parents? Is there someone you're interested in? Does she need to be a virgin? Yes. Nah, 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 nah. Look around. Look around. Look around. I said, look at that.